Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here, and I'm out at the shelter. Now the sun's going down, as you can see there. So it's um, after 6 p.m. right now. I think it's around 6.30. Anyway, there's a couple of things I wanted to do today out here. So let me show you. I was here a couple of weekends ago, and what I did was I trenched this floor. As you can see, it the trench gets deeper and deeper, and it actually goes underneath the firewood and heads outside through that hole. Now I'll bring you around the back so then you can see it. Now the dirt that was here, I just added it to the floor right here around the fire pit. Still looks a little rough and everything. But at least it's higher. So hopefully the spring floods will uh, not affect me as much. It's only about an inch, maybe two centimeters deep of fresh dirt here. Now if we go around to the back side, Back here there's a trench that I've started. Doesn't go very far, but it comes out from underneath the firewood or the stack of firewood that I have in there. So what I don't want to do is dig this just a little bit deeper and then carry it down the hill that way, maybe another couple of feet. Another meter, I guess. So that's one thing I want to work on. The other thing I want to work on is my camouflage wall. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. But anyway, I've put up a wall of cordage and dead wood basically. Um, some of these had leaves on them when they were first cut like a year ago. Then I've added more branches here. Let me just get a little closer to the cord. So see there you can see there's a piece of cord, green cord that runs from this tree past that one, past this one, and goes along. It's about a six foot height level right now. So about two meters off the ground. And it runs over To this tree, uh, right? Yeah, well, there it's more than six feet, it's more like seven feet. And then there's another cord about halfway down, four foot level, three foot level, one meter level, and it runs across this way all the way over to that thicker tree. Of course, all these branches help camouflage the shelter. Now the public trail is over in this direction. Uh, probably I don't know, 50 yards? 50 meters? Uh, and when people walk up and down the trail if they happen to glance this way they might see the shelter. And that's why I put up this camouflage wall. Um, you know, what I want to do is I want to extend it this way. From there, I want to extend it at least to this clump of trees right here. Just so then it blocks more of the view. And I also want to extend it back there a little bit. See where that tree is leaning? That piece of dead wood is leaning there. Um, what I want to do is run another cord from that thin tree the live one over to that pine which is behind the shelter and then I can stand up some trees up against it and tie them to the cordage. I think it's doing its job but I want to make it better because I don't want any unwelcome visitors. I'm hoping that this maple tree grows up big and bushy and helps to cover the shelter.
this light happens to be a new uh, through night headlamp. It's called the through night thrower. I just got it and I'm trying to review it. Um, I've got the specs here in my pocket. But uh, what I want to do is um, get a grab of <laughs> get a drink of water and um, work on that trench in the back. I brought this headlamp just in case it's getting dark when I leave this evening. Okay, grab my shovel and start digging. The idea behind this trench is that if there's any excess water on the floor inside the shelter, I'm hoping that it will flow downhill through this trench. Now, one problem is that if this trench gets full of snow and ice, it's not going to help the water situation at all. Okay, let's we'll see how that works. Okay, so I've made some progress here. This was pretty well wide open. So that's good. Or better anyway. Definitely better than it was. What I'll do is I'll keep adding to it as I come out again and again and again. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about this through night thrower headlamp. Um, right now it's on low and it's just like one click on, one click off. So click turns it off, click turns it on, and it has a memory. So if it is turned off 
at a medium setting. When you turn it back on, it'll be at medium setting again. But right now it's on low, and to cycle through the modes, you just press that top button near the light, and you just press and hold, so this is low, and it'll cycle through medium, high, and then back down to low, and medium, high, back down to low, until you let go. So, low, medium, high, low, medium, high, low, medium, high. So again, down to low. Now, to get the turbo, you double click the light and it'll go to turbo from any mode. And if you happen to triple click the light, it goes into SOS mode. So, we're going to demonstrate that right now. So, here we go. We're going to do click click. Okay, that's turbo, which is really quite bright. Yep, it's really quite bright. I'm going to click that off. Turn it back on again, and it should go to low. And it does. Now, I'm going to try to do a triple click. And see if it can get into the SOS flashing mode. So here we go. There we go. And one click will turn it back off. Now there is a firefly mode, which is even lower than low. And to get to that, you turn the flashlight off, you press and hold the button until the unit turns on, and that'll be in firefly. So press and hold, and there's firefly. It's very dim. Let me just turn this around. So you can see what it looks like down there. It's quite dim. You could read at night with this. Okay, so there's the switch to turn it on and off. And as you can see there, it's blue. If it was red, that means I'm low on electricity, the battery charge. And so I have to recharge it. So turn that off. The USB connector is right on the side of the lamp, right here. Now while this is charging, I didn't bring a charging cable with me, but while it's charging, this will be red. And then when it becomes fully charged, this will turn blue. Um, the headlamp, or the flashlight actually, you can pull it out of the headlamp like out of this holster. There's a rubber, two rubber rings here that hold it in place. Um, so you could use it as a regular flashlight if you wanted to. And this also spins to any angle that you need it to be at. So if it's on your head and you want it to point down more, you can just turn that and it'll point down. Or turn it up and it'll point up. So all in all, I really do like this through night thrower. It's, the strap is nice and comfortable, it's fully adjustable, and it's elastic, so it stretches a little bit. So the best thing to do is to make it a little bit tight on yourself so it doesn't fall off. And there you go. hand in front of it so it doesn't blind you. So anyway, again, that is low at this setting. If you'd like more information on this headlamp, I'll leave links down below so you can check it out for yourself on Amazon. So, till next time, this is Muskrat Jim, signing out. Muskrat survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. 
and remember to click the bell to receive notifications of newly uploaded videos on this channel.